Her parents told her that she was born to be a beggar like them, but she would not listen. Christina was only a seven-year-old child who had known nothing other than destitution her entire life. The little girl, unlike her peers, had never experienced the feeling of having a roof to shelter her. She had nowhere to call home, as she never even knew what home is. Christina went to and from with her parents, fully aware of their miserable conditions and struggling to keep their child fed and warm. They did everything they could to ensure a somewhat decent life for their daughter. Their greatest achievement was to just keep their child fed, as they had long since given up and were no longer looking for something better. Their dreadful situation was nothing but the product of many bad decisions. As the responsible parents they were, they did their best to adapt to the current situation and make the most of what they could get. However, the problem was not with them, because after all, they seemed to be at ease with the way their life was going. The problem was with Christina. Despite knowing nothing but instability and hunger, the little girl had always dreamed of leading a better life. Unfortunately for her big dreams, she was limited by the attitude of her parents. The only thing they did every day was repeat that for people like them. The best thing they could do was adapt to what fate had put in their way. Sunken in that mindset, they didn't even care enough to make sure that their daughter could learn to read and write. Thankfully, Christina wasn't one to count anyone to make things better for her since her young age. She had to learn on her own with the help of books she found in the trash. She would often be found at traffic lights and on any platform, always reading. The scene of her sitting under street lights just so that she can read was always a striking one to the passers-by who paid attention. Few of the regulars who passed by her every day started leaving her even more books so that she could continue learning. Christina was always grateful for those who brought her the books and asked about what she was learning that day. Christina would always be found devouring a book, until the day she became seriously ill and had to be hospitalized for a few weeks. Because of their rough financial situation, her parents were not able to afford to pay for her hospital stay. Luckily, one of the nurses paid for her while she was recovering. When Christina was finally discharged from the hospital, she not only had to thank him for his care, but above all, for the way he had spoken to her. Her stay at the hospital, despite her illness, was a gift for Christina. It was the first time that an adult spoke to her without looking at her as a simple child who was too young to truly understand life and the hardships that came with it. Her nurse, however, looked at her differently. He asked her about her dreams, what she thought about life, and even encouraged her not to give up those dreams that she wanted so much. He told her to never surrender to a situation, no matter how inevitable it seems to be. He also told her to always keep an open mind to change, an open mind is the gate to new opportunities. When Christina was discharged, she went out into the world with renewed strength and learned to ignore the derogatory comments of her parents whenever she was studying on her own. She was finally able to completely block and ignore the comments of so many other people who told her that she should instead work as she was old enough for physical labor. Every time her parents insinuated that it was time she started working and set her books aside, Christina would receive help as if it had fallen from the sky. Almost everyone who passed by her was moved to see her deeply focused on her books, wanting to encourage a studious girl who defeated her circumstances for the sake of knowledge they would leave her even more money than her parents collected during the entire day. Unlike what most would think, Christina didn't enjoy that money at all, but she didn't mind it as long as she was able to continue her readings in peace. The time came where the girl had learned as much or more on her own than any other child her age and felt that she was ready to take a test at school. Even though she had no guardians as her parents did not support her, Christina managed to be admitted into school, little by little, Everything she needed to pursue her education came her way as she always found someone willing to help her achieve her dreams. Before she knew it, Christina graduated from high school and got her GED. By then, she hardly saw her parents anymore as they only kept making fun of her aspirations and diminishing her ambitions, even after seeing all she achieved. Despite her parents' mocking, Christina applied to all the colleges she could find, and before she was 20 years old, she had already won a couple of honorable mentions for her work and knowledge in chemistry, the field she was most passionate about. 
It was not hard for her to get admitted on a scholarship to college, and from then on there was no turning back. Christina studied and worked part-time as a tutor to afford a decent life on her own. She was so judicious and always so responsible with everything she did that she got a scholarship to continue her studies abroad and went without hesitation. At the age of 32, Christina was no longer a student but a teacher at the same university she first got admitted to. In addition to her work as a lecturer, she was also part of several investigations and research teams. She was recognized in everything she pursued, achieving a wide prestige in her work that accompanied her for the rest of her life. That also allowed her to save her parents from the street, even though she never returned to her country or even saw them again. If Christina had heeded all the comments she had received from her childhood and limited herself to the very few and mediocre options life had presented to her, her life would be very different and not in a good way. She would not be a valued and prestigious teacher at one of the best universities in a country that was not even her own. She would still be on the streets, begging or working hard for barely a few dimes and a ragged place to stay. She would probably have been hungry and in need, possibly with children, or she could have fallen into addiction and died before she even reached her thirstiest. Undoubtedly, that nurse who told her she could do whatever she wanted if she put her heart and soul into it had a lot to do with the way she had faced her life. But the strength was already within her, an inexhaustible and invincible will that had taken her as far as she wanted to go, proving to all that she could. Christina only got to where she is today because she refused to limit herself to her own overcoming and decided to follow her ambitions no matter what everyone else kept telling her. Even though she was busy with her career, she never forgot where she came from. Whenever Christina had the opportunity, she would approach the street children and leave them the same message her nurse had done many years before. It was then that she thought that maybe her nurse had gone through the same thing, and that was why he had tried to save her. Even though Christina had no idea where her nurse had gone, she decided to keep that legacy going by empowering more children going through difficulties similar to her own. Christina never knew how many young people many years later still remembered her and thanked her for all she had done for them. Luckily for her, there were several children who made it through life, thanks to her words of encouragement and support. In childhood, the flame of willpower is stronger than any negative outsider voice, and with just a little help, it can do wonders. One must never underestimate the power of a good word and the effects a simple act of kindness can have. Any small good deed can lead to a massive chain reaction that can change someone's life to the better. Christina's life changed thanks to her nurse's belief in her and the encouragement of random strangers who admired her passion for learning. Who knows, maybe you can change the life of a child with a simple word of encouragement, leading to a chain reaction of good deeds of your own.